My education, which is a doctorate degree in human pathology, has led me into this over many years. My life has been spent studying biological systems and things that go into those systems. Um, my doctorate training was on oral cancer, where we traveled to India, to the Canadian Arctic, and to the Philippines, studying oral cancer and the effect of supplementation with beta carotene and vitamin A. That began my journey into natural product medicines, which I've been involved in for 30 years now. I've been researching cannabis, medical cannabis, for the past 16 years. And in my time researching, I realized it's the most profoundly efficacious herbal medicine that we have on the planet. It is, has such a broad range of efficacy that it cannot be denied as not having any medical value. It has uh, so much value as a plant. My cause today is full utility of the cannabis plant. Every year at harvest time in the Balkans here, there's tons of cannabis flower, hemp flower, chucked back into the field as a fertilizer that could be used for a very valuable medicine to treat seizure disorder, inflammatory illness, cancer, many, many uh, uses for this hemp flower, which is not being utilized. The seed has enormous nutritional value, the stock can be used for fiber. Where I come from, at one time we had many buffalo on our prairies, and our native Indians would say that you can use every part of the buffalo. They would use its skin and they would eat everything and use the whole buffalo. And we say that cannabis is our buffalo, please don't take away our buffalo. <laughs> um, like I say, it's the most useful plant on the planet, probably the reason that it's been illegal for so long, because it competed with so many uh, industries at the turn of the century. Today, we have woken up because of its medical value. They discovered a receptor that binds THC in the late 1980s, early 1990s. I remember the day I was actually a receptor for that. And being a scientist and looking at the scientific medical literature, since the discovery of the receptor, there's been an absolute explosion in the amount of scientific research behind the endocannabinoid system. If you're a medical doctor or a biological scientist and you're not aware of this system, then you must be because it's so critical to human physiology. Dr. Raphael Mershulam, who discovered the receptor, in my mind is a definite candidate for a Nobel Prize. When all this physiology is sorted out, the realm and the scope of the endocannabinoid system and hu human physiology is so important it's a definite Nobel Prize, um, and I would be very surprised if it doesn't happen. They must educate themselves. That's the reason I'm here. I'm attempting to spread the word on cannabis science and that it's valid, and it's true. And I'm, I'm just a junior in this. There, I mean, it should be Raphael Mishuma himself who's here because he represents all of the credibility in this. But this is real, gentlemen. It's not going to go away. It's hard to stop the tide coming in, and the more you learn, the more you'll realize how important this is. Thank you.